Hi, welcome to Ocean Time. I'm Pippa and today I'm talking all about gratuities and tips. I want to help out my fellow Aussies to give them some information about the tipping system and I would love any feedback comments from my friends in the States. So let's get started. The definition of gratuity or tip is an extra amount of money given for good service. I come from the background of Royal Caribbean and celebrity so that's where I'll be talking however cruise line from cruise line they still uh, get paid with gratuities so hopefully that information will help. Your gratuities are per person per day $13.50 or $16.50 if you are in a suite. These are for your dining staff and for your cabin attendants. When you book your cruise, you can prepay your gratuities up front. So then it's all done, you don't have to worry about it, it's included in the fare and you've done it. Thanks. What you also can do is, when you get on board, it will actually be billed to your account on a daily basis. And they thank you for that also. If you would like to pay in cash, then you go to guest services, ask them to remove the gratuities, and then at the end of the cruise, you'll be given envelopes, and please go give money to your dining staff and cabin attendant. So that's just a breakdown. And what I do is I prepay my gratuities. When I book, I've paid for them, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Saying that, when I go on my cruises, I still get amazing service and I do still give a little bit extra at the end of cruises, but that's just me. You don't have to do it because you've already prepaid. Uh, so, but I'm just saying, you don't have to not only give them that. You can give them more if you choose. Coming from Australia, I understand that you're not used to paying tips. I understand when cruises out of Australia, you definitely don't understand why you would be paying tips, but you have to look at these companies as American companies, so once you get on board, you're on an American ship. <laughs> For the dining staff and the cabin attendants, the majority of their wage is through gratuities. And I understand that you might not like that and that you think bad of the company for not paying their staff well, but that's how it is. I also understand that this is a hot topic subject in Australia. You can also pay in Australian dollars, but just make sure that it's this equivalent to the American dollars. Uh, all guests are to pay gratuities. And again, I understand that it might be hard for someone to be paying $13.50 for a two-year-old child per day. But again, that's what they recommend. And in the bars, they get 18% gratuities. Out of Australia, however, it is already added to the bill. So if you have a $9 cocktail of the day, it will actually cost you $9. So the tip is already in the bill. Whereas I think if you cruise anywhere else throughout the world, it is actually added to the bill. Just to let you know. You can always tip in cash one or two dollars if your bartender is giving you great service and to get great service in the future. I know you do, Chris. In the spa and salon, they also take 18% gratuity, just to let you know. So don't be surprised when you have your massage that's $150, that it's going to be an added 18% gratuity. So just to let you know. And hopefully they would let you know that beforehand as well. Because I have heard of people getting very shocked over this because they had no idea. So just to let you know. Now we're talking about my home, the casino. In on board the ships in the casino, you the dealers and casino staff can take tips. Yay! <laughs> um, if you have a great win, a jackpot, you're more than welcome to tip your tip the staff if they have been friendly, if they're looking after you, and so on. Uh, a great way to get your dealer on side is actually you play for the dealer. 
So if you're playing blackjack, let's say you put a dollar on the corner of the box and that is for the dealer that they are playing with you. Now, what do you think they're going to want to do? They're going to want to make sure that you win. I'm not saying that it's going to happen, but trust me, you're going to have a very entertaining, fun time when you're playing with the dealer. So thank you for that. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck with lady luck. Okay, the time is here. I want to tell you all about the guest satisfaction survey. It is so important. I can't stress enough how important it is, especially to put people's names in the survey. So after a day or two, after getting off the ship, you will be sent an email and for this survey, please fill it out. And like I said, you it's huge to put people's names in the survey. So please put them in the comments. Um, when I worked in the casino, they had a sort of promotion going that in a month, the person with the most named comments, good comments, um, got an extra day off work for the month. So that was huge. Trust me, when uh, you're away, you don't get many days off on board a ship. And so that's huge. So these surveys do get read. They do mean a lot. Uh, they can help people get promotions and, like I said, and benefits and bonuses. So please fill out those surveys, put in people's names that have really given you amazing service and that will really help them out. Alrighty, thanks for being on board and see you later. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment for me.